this is wild. Hello, my gaggle of goblins, gremlins, and other lovely people. Welcome to the spooky, ominous lightning cloud zone in the, uh, the Black Sea, Krakoa. Oh, wow. We're getting uh, some major fumarole action out here. Oh, <laughs> that's a rock. Just getting bigger. This is ominous looking. This is going to lead to something interesting, I know for sure. We got thumping and rumbling. <laughs> Big white crystals. How much you want to bet there's a face door in here? Or some more spooky lore. God, I've, been, I've been out exploring so much that I've... I'd slightly forgotten, like, what the actual thing that I was doing was. Was collecting badges from people to, uh... Finish my rite of passage ceremony thing. Oh, what do we have here? Like a big statue? Oh, you got... Hunchy people? A Cohen merchant, Kaiman. Tell me about this camp. He says... They don't seem to be answer, answer my interest in answering my question. The silence is intense and uncomfortable. I came here years ago, the plateau. It calls to me to be studied. Their voice is slow and deliberate and thoughtful. Oh, it did. Oh, they have a lightning crystal. Buy one of those? This looks like a cool color. I'll buy one. Gli I got an achievement called Glider on the store. <laughs> uh, doors reference. I love it. Uh, good song, good music. It's spooky. Digging the music. Big ass crystals here. <laughs> to climb the statue. I just, I want to figure out more about this insane sounds I'm hearing. Oh, it's cool. Whoa, that was 
just went super fast. Crystal Plateau. I guess the crystal crystals get charged up here. Let's shed the crystals. Coalescing. That one just got stripy. This is wild. Definitely makes me think there's some kind of like incredible puzzle here. Just don't know what it would be though. This area looks like almost forbidden. Oh, I can't climb up on the crystal thing. Maybe not yet. They get like stripy. Sable, please. Three of these now. Well, this is about to shed its shit, isn't it? Yeah. But I have three of them, so that seems to be the magic number. So maybe there's somebody at the bottom. The sound of this place is amazing. need lightning crystals.
haven't anybody else around here has to say. At first sight, the crystal farmers are so striking that I nearly gasp. Their height is immense, and they move with such calm that I cannot help but describe them as, ascribe them some higher knowledge to them, or see oh, the wisdom of age in their curves of their backs. But then I remind myself, by reading, my reading is informed by the markers I see among my own people. The shorthands of a culture. These are farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation. I wonder what they make of me. Greetings, Crystal Farmer. Greetings, Glider. I'm called Tota. And you are? I expect this verge to emerge as a rasp, as it emerges a rasp, but instead it spills like silk from behind his crystal mask. There's a purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in the ear. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure that I'm heard up there. I tell him my name is Sable. How may I help you, Sable? What are those big robots? Those are the reason. Those are the reason my shoulders are complaining and our knees are grinding to a dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must do it ourselves, and it's not easy work. That's what happened. They stopped all at once one day after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal. They all simply stopped. Some fell over. Others stayed up, but none of them ever moved again. In sympathy, I say I must have felt a terrible omen. He shakes his head. It's the quickest I've seen him move. Nothing like that. There's some explanation in the mechanics or the chemistry. Even if we don't know it. And in that, at least, we take great comfort. I nod. I think that in some way I understand it better. Anything else I can do for you? I've never been a crystal farmer before. I tell Tota. That he's the first crystal farmer I have ever met. I add that I hope that it isn't rude of me to mention. He shifts his weight and the crystals on his back move lazily with him. Oh, he must look very odd to you. I, a little. I admit that they do look a little odd to me, but that wasn't a bad thing. I asked if I look odd to him. No, you don't. You do not, which is partially because I've met others like you, but it's also because we are di we are the different ones. Off of that, we are both different, and somehow, I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, goodbye. I, I kind of figured I know what this place is. So. Oh, that's his arm. I thought it just, I thought this one just had massive honkers. It's just the way that the lighting is on their arms. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. It's only two of them that say anything. Crystal mask guy doesn't seem to be any quest from them. Unfortunate. Thought there might have been uh, something about the robots being able to turn them back on, but it doesn't seem like there's anything like that. Also unfortunate, but such as things are. This was a amazing spot to go to. I am very much happy that I went here. But seeing as that we are an adventurer, we must continue on and possibly see if anybody has a use for lightning crystals. Uh -huh.